Hi, I'm Andy Deitmeyer, Executive Chef for Mercy Medical Center in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And I'm Bobby Marty, Registered Dietitian, Mercy Medical Center, Cedar Rapids. And today we're going to make a nice little salad. Um, it's going to involve cold shrimp, um, black beans, cilantro, chilies, um, just a really great, fresh, southwestern type of salad. Just to highlight a few nutritional things with this recipe, um, shrimp in itself is actually the most popular seafood that we eat in the United States. And it kind of gets a bad name, I think, as far as nutritional value because um, we tend to go with the buttery, creamy sauces or fried. Just to let you know, shrimp itself is very high in nutritional value when it comes to essential amino acids, but also omega-3 omega fatty acids, which are very protective for our heart, um, really protects the against heart disease. So I do encourage that you just um, don't, um, you know, go away from the health benefits of shrimp in adding um, the creamy sauces and the fried. So also this um, recipe has a lot of other vegetables um, and um, herbs and spices that are going to be very high in antioxidants. And so also black beans, very high in fiber, which is another heart protective um, ingredient. Okay, so to get started, like as Bobby mentioned, um, you know, shrimp, they're not bad for us. Um, you know, keep them out of the Alfredo sauce from time to time and keep them out of the deep fryer. Um, so we're certainly going to not do that today. Um, here I just got some nice tiger shrimp uh, that I've blanched and chilled already. Um, they're already cleaned. And I'm just going to cut them in half like such. Just kind of split them in half that way. You could leave these whole, but they'll incorporate into the salad a little bit better this way. But this way, that you still get to keep that whole shrimp appeal or uh, appearance. Into our bowl. From here, we got some. Nice green onions. Got a little red bell pepper for some nice color. Some nice ripe tomato for some, this will add some nice acidity. And I've got some, some fresh chili. This is a banana pepper. Um, you could use Anaheim's, you could use Fresno's, you could use jalapeno. Uh, it just kind of depends on how, how spicy you want your salad to be. Banana pepper is kind of middle of the road to, to mild. The thing about using fresh chilies is when you get up into the seeded area, the seeds and the ribs are really where the heat hangs out in these things. So if you want to dial it down a little bit, but you still want to have a little kick, right here in any of those like uh, jalapenos or things like that, that's where you want to start de-ribbing that and lose the seeds. That's where the, pr the majority of the heat is. So if you want to dial it down a little bit, lose that. When working with fresh chilies, it's never a bad idea to wear rubber gloves, um, you know, because they can, those oils, even if you wash your hands several times, can, can hang out on your fingers and those little grooves by your fingernails, and 20 minutes later, you can go to rub your eye or, or uh, touch your face, and they'll still be burning, so not a bad idea to wear some gloves. 
Uh, I got some fresh cilantro here. And it's going to have a lot of southwestern Mexican flavors to it. Cilantro, lime juice, cumin is a big one. Um, we're going to put some ground cumin in there. I'm just going to kind of bring this together. Oh, I almost forgot our ever important black beans. This also has some just some really nice colors to it, contrast with the black beans. So that's basically our salad. Now we just need to dress it a little bit. It's going to be simple. We're going to season it up with a little bit of pepper. Some kosher salt. A little bit of rice vinegar. Plenty of fresh lime juice. And just a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil. Something like this, I would always recommend dressing it right before you're ready to serve it. It'll keep all the, uh, the textures and flavors really bright. The herbs will, and the green onions and things will, will maintain their, their texture and crunch. So whenever possible, just kind of keep that just to before you're ready to serve it. This is going to have just some really nice limey flavor, um, you know, a little bit of heat from those fresh chilies, the black beans. It's going to be good. Serve it up with a little fresh lime. Garnish with a little more cilantro. There you go.